Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Apple Topics. In today's video, we're going to be installing macOS Ventura on this unsupported Mac. We are rocking 4GB of RAM on a MacBook Air early 2015 and it's running macOS Monterey, which is the latest supported software. Now let's install macOS Ventura on this Mac. Let's roll the intro and get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go ahead and head over to Safari. You want to go ahead and, as you can see, that icon is Open Core Legacy Patcher. That's what we have to download. And make sure to download the latest release. Um, as you can see here, when I made this video, this was the, late re the latest release. There's actually been an update since the video was recorded. Um, so go ahead and download the latest version. And if you already have the application like I did on my MacBook Pro with Monterey, just go ahead and open the app and you should get a pop-up for an update. If not, just delete the app and install the new version. Now, the first time you open it, uh, you're going to get an, uh, a pop-up saying that it's from an unauthorized developer or something like that. Or just like it's not from the App Store. So just either if you see the option to click anyway, to open anyway, Go ahead and do that. If not, you can go into System Preferences and go into Security and Privacy. And you should see an option there that says Open Anyway. Another way to do this is you can go into your Finder and search into the Downloads. And you can see here, uh, right-click the Open Core Download. And then you can go ahead and uh, open it. Uh, just right-click and open. And then you should get the pop-up saying if you want to open this application even though it's not from the App Store. Now, as you can see here, we've got it opened. Now, there are a few things that are really important here. Post-install root patches is something pretty important um, because you don't have to use it right now, but every time you update your Mac, like you can update just as normal with system preferences, but after your Mac restarts, all of your patches are gonna be gone. And depending on what mic you have, it might be really slow, your aspect ratio might be bad, or stuff like that. So you can just uh, post install root patches and it'll reboot. So actually, in fact, when you update your Mac after it turns on, you should get a pop-up automatically saying that it has detected that it needs the post install root patches. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and create a macOS installer. Um, I actually, as you can see, I already have it, so I can just go ahead and use existing macOS installer. However, since you probably don't have it, you have to go ahead and click in download macOS installer. This is going to take just a few seconds and it's going to show us all the different macOS versions that we can use with Open Core Legacy Patcher on a non-supported Mac. macOS uh, Big Sur, macOS Monterey, and macOS Ventura. I've actually been able to use all of those three versions um, as they have been coming out. Uh, you're gonna see the latest version as you can see there it's 13.0 and it is 12 gigabytes so it's a full installer and 13.0 uh, it is um, you're gonna see 13.0 here because that was the latest version when I recorded this video however now we have 13.1 or so so you, you should see that and download that now what you want to go ahead and do actually after the download is you want to go ahead and get uh, you want to go ahead and plug in sorry your USB drive or whatever you're using your hard drive remember that it has to be larger than 14 gigabytes so now you just want to go ahead and open up uh, this utility because we want to format our drive now remember that this will delete everything on the drive so just go ahead and double check that you don't have anything important there so just click the drive and go ahead and click erase um, and when you click erase you're just gonna use APFS and guide partition map. It's not really important as long as your Mac will recognize it because either way, OpenCore will uh, format it too. Just make sure there's nothing important that you want you don't want to lose because you will lose anything on your drive. So when the download is done, you're gonna see this. And what you have to do is we'll click in macOS, install macOS Ventura. You're gonna see this after you click Flash Installer. Obviously, it's going to be different if you're doing macOS Big Sur or something like that. But anyways, and now you're going to see here your drives. Now, as you can see, remember that it has to be 14 gigabytes or higher. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, mine is disk 2 generic 160 gigabytes. It's my hard drive. 
the one that I'm going to be using. Now I'm not going to do this again because I already did it and I don't want to go through it again. But uh, yeah, this is what you have to do. So, so this is kind of what you're going to see. Um, and this is basically moving all the files of the installer into your hard drive or USB drive. And it's making it bootable so you can uh, install it into your Mac. And uh, basically this can take from 20 minutes, 30 minutes, all the way up to an hour. All depending on what you're using. If you're using like a, a hard drive like I am, it's going to take a long time. For me it was really smooth, but it took around an hour. But if you're using an SSD or a USB drive, it might be a little faster. Uh, depending on how fast your USB drive is. And if it's an SSD, it'll be like maybe even 20 minutes but uh, yeah now you just wait a little bit and uh, it will be done so after it finishes transferring into the USB drive you're gonna see this all you have to do is click install the disk um, you might uh, need to put in your administrator's password but just click install the disk so basically all you have to do now is click your SSD and click again the install open core select the partition to install open core into so click that and uh, give it a few seconds and it's gonna ask you for your administrator's password so type it in and give it a few seconds here now it's gonna ask us to reboot and I'm gonna have to do that so I'm gonna have to go ahead and switch over to my phone to record this so i'll be back okay, in a sec so i'm um, recording on my phone now of course before doing this i do recommend if you have what's needed like another hard drive do a, a time machine backup really easy to do you can search it up on youtube on youtube on how to do that and that's just in case you lose anything however i'm not going to do that because this is a fresh install of monterey so now you're going to go ahead and reboot and as soon as it's turning on again oh restart you're going to go ahead and up, hold down the option key. Keep holding the key until you see that. Now, you're going to go ahead and go to the left or right, wherever it is. You can use your trackpad or mouse, or you can use your um, arrow keys. So, we're going to use the arrow keys and we're going to go into the EFI boot. I click enter or click the arrow and now you're going to see your current uh, OS version and then you can go ahead and move into macOS, install macOS into it. You can go ahead and click it with the trackpad or with the enter. So, you're going to wait a while, it might take some time to turn on depending on the drive you have again. This is going to be a lot slower if you have a hard drive like me. If you have a USB drive or an SSD, it's going to take a lot. It's going to be a lot faster. This is what you're going to see, and this is where you want to decide what you want to do. If you want to start fresh, which I really do recommend, so open Disk Utility and uh, just go ahead and click your SSD and click Erase and Erase. This will clear out the whole SSD in your MacBook and it's just gonna make it so that uh, it's like a brand new laptop. Now I will not do that, this is just an upgrade. Uh, and yeah, so I click on sell. So that is the first option. Now if you do not want to delete anything and you just want to update, you can go ahead and click install macOS Ventura. Just give it a few seconds. Remember, I'm running off a hard drive. There we go. Mac OS Ventura. Continue. Here, there we go. You're gonna get this pop up. I have read and, uh, and agree. I read and agree to the license agreements. Okay. So be sure to click the drive you want to install this in. And in this case, I only have one. So continue. And yeah, I'll be back when we're close to being done. So after your Mac is has finished updating, after your Mac has rebooted and all that stuff, this is what you're going to see when your Mac is finally on. Now this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to click OK. Uh, this pop-up window is just telling us that it's booting up from the uh, USB drive and not the SSD. So just click, uh, go ahead and click Install to Disk. And... Uh, it's going to take a few seconds here and the blue thing means that you're booting up from that disk and that it has open core in it 
So now you can just go ahead and click your SSD to install it into your SSD. So after that, you're not gonna need your um, USB driver or whatever you used to boot up your Mac. So just click the SSD, click that again, uh, the partition, and give it a few seconds. And when this is done, just put in your administrator's password. It's gonna ask you to reboot and uh, just give it a few seconds and it's gonna tell you that you have to restart your Mac, there you go. And after you restart, you're gonna see that you no longer need your USB drive to uh, boot up your Mac. So there you go, uh, it has restarted, but as you can see here, we are now officially running Mac OS Ventura on an unsupported Mac. Uh, really, since the uh, patcher for Mac OS Big Sur, it's kind of similar, but as you can see, it, it's running pretty good and uh, it might run really hot and your fan might run uh, really fast for a few, a few days or a few hours. Just use it as normal and you'll see here that it's going to calm down, It's gonna your Mac has to optimize. Uh, but anyways, as you can see here, uh, the specs, uh, Intel Core i5, MacBook Air 2015, 13-inch with 4GB of RAM and uh, it's actually pretty uh, like acceptable to be honest. Um, just to have a Mac that is not so ported anymore, it's really cool to see how it still can be used. Um, but before we're done, there is one more thing I want to show you here, and that is uh, when you turn on your Mac, you might notice that it's actually go ahead, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you the boot picker. And you can change that real quick, just go into settings. I do not recommend changing anything else except this unless you know what you're doing. But if not, just go into settings and un uncheck the show boot picker. And after you uncheck that, you have to go ahead and click return to main menu and all you have to do is uh, once again click build and install open core your mac is going to ask you and you have to click install to disk it's going to take a little second click the disk and it's going to ask you for your administrator's password and after that it's going to ask you to restart your mac uh, so just restart it little, uh, really quick and you'll be done so yes, I did not record the restarting of the Mac, but anyways, after uh, it restarts, you can now use your Mac just like normal. Now, of course, uh, right now that you just installed the update, your Mac will definitely feel a lot slower and the fan, and it might be really fast, might be going really fast and loud, and obviously your Mac might be getting a lot harder than usual. But just uh, use it as normal and over time, just maybe over a day or two, it's going to go ahead and get optimized and it's going to run just fine. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching all the video. It's really long already so I'm going to go ahead and finish the video right now. I'll probably make a video on how, uh, how well a Mac performs with Mac OS Ventura. But anyways, if you enjoyed it, please like the video. If you think you know someone that might find this video useful, please go ahead and share it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.